The moment that maybe someone out there has been waiting for is here. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 has just released its first trailer and I'm gonna talk about it today. Before I really dig into this honey pot, I would appreciate if you threw a subscribe my way. I post a lot of movie commentary every single week. It'd be great if you stuck around because <laughs> of the honey. Let's talk about this. First off, I want to start with a compliment. Uh, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is a great title for a horror film. It was the best thing going for the first film and really nothing else. That said, to just lazily call the second one Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 is so pathetic. I wanted something a little bit more creative, like Tigger Rises, or The Wrath of Piglet, or Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey Endgame. Something just stupid and fun. Because the biggest problem with the first film is it was stupid, but not fun at all. They took a property that was not renewed in time, and they ran with it. They were able to churn out a garbage film on a shoestring budget, and the results speak for themselves. Now they're back, not even a year later with a sequel, and that doesn't scream high caliber, right? It doesn't scream, we're putting all of our best eggs in this basket. No, but let's see what the trailer has to offer. I'll give my thoughts as it goes. Okay, instantly I can tell you this movie looks far better than the first. I believe the budget was a million dollars this time and not 10,000 or 2,000 or $2 like the first one was. And you can see it on the screen. So they are making use of the cameras. They're making use of that increased budget. It appears we're following a young Christopher Robin who is played by a different actor this time around. Gonna be diving into a psyche. Gonna be diving into the backstory of Winnie the Pooh. There's even a young Winnie the Pooh on display here. Boy Pooh, as I'm referring to him. <laughs> this is so stupid to even talk about. Winnie the Pooh has resurrected, risen again anew from the ashes like a Pooh Bear rising. And uh, I can say his look is completely different. Nothing like the first movie. Piglet's back in the mix. Tusk's no longer there. We got Tigger in this one. Owl's in this one. I mean, it looks like they're putting in at least a little bit of effort. Visually, far better. It looks like the gore, the bloody kills, everything has been very much amplified this time around. Taking place in the woods, but also going to a party. We get a camper sequence. I gotta tell you, I hated the first movie with a passion. This looks like there is at least a small amount of effort being put in. It's not the schlocky trash they put out the first time. Now, trailers can be very deceiving. We're probably seeing everything good this film has to offer and the rest is gonna be, again, a complete waste of time. But who knows? My hope for this movie is that they looked back on the first one and they said, all right, we accomplished our goals. We made a ton of money. We got people invested in this property for some reason, maybe. We'll see how this one does. And now we can actually put some effort into it. We can get what we need to make these costumes look good and the action look great. And some of the actors may be a bit better than the first. And it remains to be seen. But I'm not at least worried to go to this movie. I think I'll have a decent time. I also hope they have fun with this one. Give me some poo puns. I want to hear an oh bother. I want there to be at least a little bit of tongue and cheekiness to it. The first one is just so serious the whole time. And the concept's so ridiculous, it just doesn't work out. It doesn't match up. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2? No fun little subtitle or anything. That's just what it is. You think this one looks great? You think it looks at least a little bit better than the first? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you love the video. I'd love to have you stick around. I post movie commentary, reviews, roasts all the time. It would be great to have you stick around the channel. All right. Hopefully, I see you next time.